and today I'm going to teach you how to construct a centroid of an acute angle triangle, an obtuse angle triangle, and a right angle triangle. The methods to construct centroid of an acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle, and a right angle triangle are same, but I'm teaching you all these three to avoid confusion. So let's begin. So first, a centroid is a point where medians of the triangle intersect. And a median is a line segment that joins the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side. So first, let's construct centroid of an acute angle triangle. For that, we need to find midpoints of all the sides AC, BC and AB. So first, let's find the midpoint of side AC. For that, we will need a compass and we have to keep the compass needed on any of the vertex of the side. Let's keep, let's keep it on C. Then this compass span should be more than half of the side AC. We don't need to measure it accurately. This span seems more than half of AC. Then we have to make an arc outside a triangle and inside a triangle. We have to keep the same span of compass and keep the compass needle on A now. Then cut these arcs. So we have got these two arcs. Then we will join them. After joining, we get the midpoint of AC, which is this. We will name it as P. The same procedure is there for BC and AB sides. Let's keep the uh, compass needle on C. This seems more than half. We will make an arc here and here. Now with the same span we will keep the compass needle on B, then cut these arcs. Now we will join them. So we will get the midpoint of BC. This is the midpoint of BC, we will name it as Q. Now same for AB. Let's keep the compass needle on A. This seems more than half of AB. Draw an arc here and draw an arc here. Now with the same span we will keep the compass needle on B and cut these arcs. And we will join this to get the midpoint of side AB. So we have got this midpoint of AB, we will name it as R. So now, as we have got all the midpoints, we will connect this midpoint to the opposite vertex. This P to B, because its opposite vertex is B, Q to A and R to C. So let's do it. These are the medians of the triangle. This is a median. This is another median. And this is another median. The point where all these medians, this BP, AQ and RC meet is called as the center. Which is denoted as G. Now next, let's construct centroid of an obtuse angle triangle. The method is totally same. The, we will keep, let's find the midpoint of BC first. We will keep the compass needle on C. This seems more than half of BC, compass span. And now, we will make an arc here and make an arc here. With the same span, we will keep the compass needle on B and cut this arc and cut this arc. It is not necessary that the one arc, one arc should be in the triangle. This is outside the triangle. Now, we have to uh, join these arcs which, and we will get the midpoint of BC. So, let's join it. So this 
this is the midpoint of BC and it's name as OP. Now the same for other sides. Let's do first for AB now. This seems more than half of the AB, this compass pan. Now we will make an arc here and make an arc here with the same span. We will cut this arc and cut this arc. Now let's do, uh, now let's join the, these two arcs. Now we will get the midpoint of the side AB. This is the midpoint of side AB. Let's name it as Q. And same for AC. This compass pan seems more than half of AC. Now, let's make an arc here and make an arc here. With the same span, make sure you don't uh, adjust the span again. With the same span, we have to cut both arcs. Now we have got these two arcs. When we will join them, we will get the midpoint of AC. So this is the midpoint of AC. We will name it as R. Now let's join. Let's find the medians. For that, uh, the opposite vertex of BC is A and midpoint of BC is P. So, we will join P and A. This is a median. Now, uh, opposite vertex of ABC and midpoint of AB is Q. So, we will join, we will join Q with C. Now the uh, now we have uh, for now we have joined the uh, side I mean joins joined the midpoint of side AB and vertex C means Q and C and we have joined the midpoint of BC means P and A A and P so next is to join the uh, join the points B and R because B is the opposite vertex of side AC. So when we will join them, we have got the all three medians uh, QC, R, RB and AP. This point where they intersect is known as the centroid. It is denoted as G. Now let's construct centroid of a right angle triangle. The method is totally same. So first we have to find midpoints of all the sides. For that let's find first midpoint of BC, side BC. We will keep the compass needle on C. This, seam, this compass span seems more than half of BC. So we will make two arcs. With the same, with the same span we will keep the compass needle on B and cut these two arcs when we join these two we will get the midpoint of BC this is the midpoint of BC we will name it as P the same procedure is for other sides now let's find the midpoint of AB for that we will keep the compass needle on B then this compass span seems more than half of AB. So 
so we will draw two arcs with the same span we will cut these arcs and now we will join them so we will get the midpoint of side AB this is the midpoint of side AB we will name it as Q now same for AC let's keep compass needle and C then make it more than half this seems more than half then now we will draw two arcs with the same span keep the compass needle on A cut these two arcs and now join them after joining we will get the midpoint of AC and it is uh, the midpoint of AC we will name it as R now we will join the uh, join the points BR QC and PA because they are opposite so let's join let's join P a BR sorry this is a median now AP this is another median and now QC this is another median the point where all these medians intersect is central which is denoted as G so if you like this video please press on the like button and subscribe my channel if you have any queries you can put them in the comment box thanks for watching